Okay, so next we're going to look at a few more different types of trig equations. Um, this is the first one here. Um, tan 2 theta equals 3 quarters. Find the possible values of uh, tan theta. Um, for this one, if you, if you flick through your formula book, you should, should find that we have a formula for uh, tan 2 theta is equal to uh, 2 tan theta over 1 minus tan squared theta and well we've just been told this is equal to three quarters here um, once we've got that if we rearrange this so um, we're going to end up with four lots of two tan theta is equal to three lots of one minus tan squared theta and again if I, if I rearrange that a little bit I should end up with um, 3 tan squared theta plus 8 tan theta minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, as soon as I get something looking a little bit like this, um, I should be expecting to, to be using some kind of uh, quadratic. So let's just write u equals tan theta. Now we've got 3u squared plus 8u minus 3 is equal to 0. Um, I can factorise that. 3u minus 1 for u plus 3. And therefore, this first bracket gives me u equals 1 third. And the second one gives me u equals minus 3. But remember, u is tan theta, therefore tan theta is a third or tan theta equals minus three and that's it because it, it asks me to find values of tan theta so I don't need to do anything more than that okay so next one um, let's look at that first bit so we've got sine 2 theta over 1 plus cos 2 theta We've got to show that that is the same as tan theta. Um, it's just a case of using the double angle formulas. Sine 2 theta is the same as 2 sine theta cos theta. And cos 2 theta, well, I'm going to write that one as 1 plus 2 cos squared theta minus 1. Um, I'm going to choose this particular formula. Well, I guess because I can notice what's going to happen if I do. Um, the 1's obviously going to cancel out, so that's going to end up with 2 sine theta cos theta all over 2 cos squared theta. And then obviously the, the cos's are going to cancel out and the 2's are going to cancel out, so that's going to just leave me with sine theta over cos theta, which is tan theta. Okay, um, the second part here has a hence in, so that's a clue that I'm going to be needing to use the result from that previous part of the question um, for part B. I think I'll write it up here just uh, for ease. I, I already know that, um, well, let's see, if I've got cot of something, well, remember that cot is just 1 over tan. So if I just rewrite 1 over tan theta, which is cot theta, that is going to be equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta over sine 2 theta. OK, um, and then basically I'm finding cot of pi over 8. And remember, this is cot so if I can rewrite that as cot pi over 8 well that is equal to 1 plus cos 2 lots of pi over 8 all over sine of 2 lots of pi over 8 
Okay, and I think we'll then bring all this down here. Um, so that's going to simplify. And that's going to give me uh, cot pi over 8 is equal to 1 plus cos pi over 4 and then sine pi over 4. Okay, and cos pi over 4 and sine pi over 4 are two of the, uh, two of the values that you're expected to know for the exam. That is going to be 1 plus root 2 over 2 over root 2 over 2. And that will simplify to give me 1 plus root 2. Okay, and then the last question. Uh, I've got 2 tan squared theta minus 5 sec theta minus 10 is equal to 0. Um, okay, so whenever you get something like this with tans and secs, try and make them into the same trig, um, trig things. So in this case here, let's make them into tan. Um, well, actually, let's make it into to sec. So let's say that 1 plus tan squared theta is equal to sec squared theta. Um, therefore, tan squared theta is sec squared theta minus 1. And now I've got that, I can put that into this uh, equation here. So I'm going to end up with 2 bracket sec squared theta minus 1 minus 5 sec theta minus 10 is equal to 0. If I then simplify that, I should end up with 2 sec squared theta minus 5 sec theta minus 12 is equal to 0. Okay, once again, I've got a, a quadratic, so let's write that as u equals sec theta. So I've got 2u squared minus 5u minus 12 equal to 0. If I factorise that, I will get 2u plus 3, and uh, u minus 4. Therefore, this is going to give me um, u equals minus 3 over 2, or u is equal to 4. And remember, u is sec theta, so it's just going to give me sec theta minus 3 over 2 or 4. And I wanted to find sec theta. I've not quite finished yet because it's told me that theta is in the second quadrant. So let's just draw that cast diagram again. Okay, this is the second quadrant here. This is sign that this is saying that only sine is positive. Well, sec is 1 over cos. Well, cos is going to be negative, and therefore 1 over cos is going to be negative. Therefore, this is going to be my answer. So sec theta is minus 3 over 2.